Hey, T-Jax, let's get it. Let's stack this paper, huh? That's what you want to do, T-Jax, you scumbag. You freaking go over there to your stupid little queasy boy stream. You help him with the doxing. Then, T-Jax, you get doxed. Then you're crying on the internet because your whole life's blown up. Then you delete stuff. You delete messages. Then you learn your lesson. No one is immune to the internet. So... Yesterday, Queefy Boy does his little four to five hour stream because he has no life, no job, no car, no money, no friends. His mom thinks he's a piece of trash. His dad thinks he's the biggest scumbag son on planet Earth that's done nothing with his life instead of, except ruin it. His friggin' sister thinks he's a trash. We all know that, right? So he's streaming for four to five hours. And what does uh, Darius Truxton do? He gives Dave C a wrench. Oh, wow, Dave C., you've been promoted to head incel of the Truxton Army. I'm, I hope you're glad. I hope you're glad. All that friggin' race, openly racist comments that you've been saying, Dave C., and your friggin' alcoholic friggin' problem beating your wife and then coming on uh, YouTube and comments and laughing about it, all that has finally done you some good. You are now the head general incel friggin' along with Flat Earth Gamer. Hey, James Campbell, how jealous are you at the fact that Darius Truxton gave Dave C a wrench? How jealous are you, uh, James? Huh? It looks like someone else will be sending uh, nude DMs to friggin' Darius Truxton. Not only you, James, in your little colorful bathhouse sauna at your friggin' mommy's house that she has. You're living there now, and you're in there with your stupid hobgoblin nose and your 400-pound fat Estella wife with a masculine haircut and 16 years older than you. Who knows where she is? You're not going to answer for her, but instead, you're going to sit in your colorful bathhouse sauna, all right, cry on the internet that Dave C. also has a wrench. And I saw something so pathetic yesterday. Oh my God. So in the chat, Darius Truck. So Darius Trucks, and as he's playing, he's like, yeah, Dave C, I don't like to give moderate wrenches. Just don't get crazy. And then, and then Darius is like, yeah, Dave C, if you see anything uh, doxing or bad accounts, just ban them. And then Dave C in the chat's like, okay, will do. Dude, why are you taking orders from a chinless from one angle, double chin from another angle, queefy boy, okay? That where has an Eminem haircut. The guy wears double XL shorts. It says property of the game chasers on it. The guy wears flood shorts because he lives close to the Hamilton docks and he has smelly socks in a disgusting, dirty, dingy apartment. That's who he that's who you're taking orders from, Dave C. You're all a bunch of losers. Every single one of you army members. Shinra, hi MLA. You're sitting there at Starbucks with your cafe latte with their legs crossed, crying on the internet that Orbalology doesn't acknowledge your comment. Shut up, sit there and listen to my videos, prick, because you have nothing else to do except seethe and rage on the internet. Sierra Air, some other hob, some other ra openly racist piece of trash makes a video about me. I don't even watch it because I don't acknowledge and listen to openly racist pieces of trash like you, Dave C. Uh, not you, uh, Sierra Air and Dave C. Both of you pieces of crap. You're not even going to be acknowledged. You have the most garbage content. You know who else has garbage content? Albert Menenkuk. Hey, Albert, have you noticed your five foot two shrimp prancing around the streets of Florida with your shirt off? Looking like Nosferatu at nighttime, boxing raccoons for that last piece of blueberry muffin. Have you noticed, Albert Menendez, that you get like no views? Have you noticed that? Your content is garbage, okay? Do yourself a favor and put the word slotham in the title of your video. Therefore, you might actually get some views. Because as of right now, no one cares about your life, you piece of garbage, huh? And you thought it was 50 deep, right? You thought you were second in command of the Truxton Army, weren't you back then? 50 deep, Truxton Army for life, second in command. Well, guess what? We have a new second in command. His name is Dave C. That piece of garbage that has the most punchable face on YouTube I have ever seen in my friggin' existence. Then what else happens? Oh, guess, guess who's kind of MIA right now? Sean Murray. AKA Murray NG08, AKA friggin' Captain Cupcake. This piece of trash right here gets doxxed on my last friggin' live stream, and then all of a sudden, there's no more alt accounts in my, uh, there's no more alt accounts in my videos friggin' trying to make fun of me anymore. Hey, Murray, what's going on? Murray, have you lost your motivation there, huh? After you've been completely blown up on YouTube and we know everything about your life, we know literally everything about your friggin' pathetic life that you live. And now all of a sudden, you're no more, no, no longer in alt accounts, are you, huh? Where's the Broken Dreams account? I haven't seen it in the live stream of Darius's last yesterday. Where were you, huh?
You have a friggin' pathetic wife who's literally decaying as we speak. Her teeth, they're not missing, they're not chipped, they're literally decaying and shrinking as we speak. Your wife, Murray, looks like the female Crypt Keeper, all right? She's got wrinkles up the yin yang, her skin is turning pale, but you instead, Murray, there's friggin' photo evidence of you on Twitter simping for e-girls because you're a friggin' cuck. You're a fat cuck that was on your friggin' deathbed in the hospital crying on the internet because you missed your insulin shot and you're crying on Twitter they're like, guys, I, I missed my insulin shot. Please pray for me. Please pray for me. No, we're not going to pray for you. Instead, what we're going to pray for is for you to go to hell because that's where you belong along with James Campbell. And you're, do, you're, you're pretty deceitful. Hey, didn't you take that oath when you got married, Murray, that said, till death do us apart? Well, guess what? Your wife has not died yet. She's decaying process, but she hasn't died. So stop sipping on Twitter for e-girls and buying them coffee for $2 each, idiot. God, you're so pathetic. Hey, Sean, does your wife know what you're up to on Twitter? Does your wife know that you're not giving her attention? She's getting tyroned, that decaying body is getting uh, tyroned. But you, on the other hand, Murray, is on Twitter doing all this simping and crap, all these antics online. Hey, Murray, does your wife know that you've just been doxxed and your whole life's been exposed and maybe there's going to be an extra stuffed crust Domino's? My treat, all right? Domino's, my treat. And what are you going to do about it? Nothing, except cry on the internet and seethe and rage on your alt accounts, which you haven't been doing recently because you lost your motivation prick what else we got oh we got prince of turds okay prince of diapers aka prince piss he makes a little community post yesterday freaking a little keyboard warrior community post with his little apology sobbing and sorrying up hey in that community post what does prince of diapers say he says he's like oh He's like, level one online, I hope we're friends. And then he says, level one, level one online, I'm not going to expose any DMs or anything like that. Okay, that's nice, Prince of Piss, but why did you expose my DM? Why did you have the need to expose my DM, which says nothing wrong? It's, le it's me literally reaching out to a diaper freak like you, asking you what the hell's going on. Let me know, because I got to make a freaking video soon. The whole retro gaming community is waiting for my video to listen to about your freaking diaper fetish. Let me know, Prince of Di Let me know in the friggin' DMs, what the hell's going on, Prince of Diapers, and you don't even have the respect to answer me at that moment, which you should have done. You should have told the snakes first, you prick, about your stupid little turd fetish. You're friggin' dropping turds in your friggin' diaper because it feels full and it feels good for you. You're a friggin' freak. Okay, and then you expose my DM. Why don't you expose the first DM, uh, Prince of Diapers? The first DM that was ever sent between me and you. You tell me, you basically say to me, keep burying the rats, it's funny, keep doing it because they deserve it, and for me to ask you any questions if I need any help. That was literally your first DM, and then all of a sudden, now you're switching it up, guys, when's it ever gonna stop? When's it ever gonna, yeah, because Prince of Diapers, your content's trash. The most views you ever gotten is of your freak fetish, people are watching that video because you're such a loser and freak that's why you got the views okay you've all of a sudden you think you're some success story but pieces of trash like you prince of diapers are the same ones now cucking to darius truxton You're friggin' going to Darius Truxton and be like, yeah, accept me into the army. Our Darius Truxton, open arms. Yeah, come on in, diaper fetish. We need as much army members as we can because the army has disintegrated. Donald Reed, the cuck for Darius Truxton, that guy apparently is not hanging out in the army. But we know as soon as Darius Truxton loses the channel, he's there. Donald Reed's going to bend over and just toss him some more verified phone numbers. Keep wearing your fitted hat, you prick. You look like a conehead and the yellow peanut M&M, idiot. Then he got Dean TV, who wants to act like he's the corrector. Meanwhile, doesn't correct himself. The guy says he's a six foot two Greek god that any lady wants him. Meanwhile, Dean friggin' procreates with the most ugliest woman known to mankind, creates a son, and then waves away his rights to the son at eight year old because he's a scumbag and Dean can't friggin' take care of his son. So he has to friggin' wave away the rights to some other parents. How does that feel? You're a failed wrestler as well, Dean TV. You're a failed YouTuber, 56k subscribers channel, can't even break 30 views per video you are absolutely nothing you're so irrelevant to the point you literally doxed yourself on freaking youtube and no one cared no one was like oh yeah. literally you're so irrelevant and trash that no one cares about your life except for you rabbit dude some artarded autistic short bus riding prick that wants to have two drawings framed calls, calls himself a success story hasn't had a job in his life he's in his mid-30s he has no job no car no girlfriend his stepdad is humping his 
mom who he's gonna beg for for a Mario game. That's your life, rabbit dude. In 10 years, you're gonna turn into Queefy Boy. And you know that. Who's the other art hard that um, Dean TV loves to talk to? Carl, meh. Some fat Q-tip around the room that uses it to clean the wax out of his belly button. That fat lard, he got docs. He got some meat that sent to him. And then he freaking beats up and abuses his dad to get on video, forces him on video. His dad hears one of Dean TV's live streams, goes to sleep, and his dad is never seen again because of how pathetic Dean's content is. And then he got Cheetah Man the mouth breather that has nothing to do on a panel except stay there quiet and hear him breathe through the mouth. You all are a bunch of losers and there's nothing you can do about it except cry on the friggin' internet.